introduce you to Andy, Andrew Birtwistle of Porsche Centre Stockport. Thank you very much. Sales. Best way to cause an impression on a track day is turn up in a Dakar. <laughs> um, what did you do last night, Andy? So I was stupid enough, smart enough, sleep in the, uh, in the <laughs> roof tent that's available to purchase at Porsche Centre Stockport. Um, just thought I'd put put it to the test really. It's quite cool. So we sat at the bar last night, we've all we've all got down last night and it was cloudless blue sunshine and Andy's there. We've got two spare beds in the hotel. Him and Ben have gone now fully committed to sleeping on the roof of the Dakar. We Mentally woke, prepared ourselves. Yeah. Woke up this morning, opened the curtains and you've just got sideways rain <laughs> coming through the window. Um, it was peaceful, you know, the, the wind and the rain against no, it the wasn't. tent walls, it was nice. Right. Have you sold any tents? Not sure. I can't. I can't think why. But yeah. I'm going to find a helmet and I'm going to be silly. <laughs> right, Raymondo, introduce yourself to the uh, all four viewers of our YouTube channel. Right. This is to all four viewers. Nice to say hello. Send me your birthday details because if there's <laughs> only four of you, we can send you a cake. Yeah, that'd be nice. Dan would like to send you a cake, even though it's only a donut with a candle in it. That's fine. Donut. Donut. Can't yeah, do donuts. Donut. So we are in a 959 Porsche. We're not. Oh, whoa, what's this? Oh, we've got the circuit. circuit. So um, it's a 911 Dakar uh, replica. Uh, they've made a, a limited amount of them, uh, which is 2,500 models, uh, make, uh, sorry, editions. Uh, th this is 401 of 2,500 cars. So it's basically a 911 GTS on stilts with a roll cage on knobbly tires and it could not be a more inappropriate car for yeah so for the older day. viewers um if you ask your dad who reg varney is he used to be on on the buses <laughs> so it's like we're sitting on the top deck of a london bus because the the ride height on this porsche is really really high but if it, we get tired we can stop off and have a kip on the way with the uh, sure. let's, let's, the tent let's, on the roof let's speak to the clippy and see, uh, we might be able to chat the clicky up. I need to get me, uh, I need to get my bearings on this. What have we got? Rally mode. Oh wow! Um, no, go for sport mode. No, we'll go rally mode. We're going for rally mode. Oh, that's going to be interesting. So, so Ray is a very, very good. I'm a terrible driver, and Ray is a very, very good driver coach. So I should come back as a rally driver after my three laps. Oh, that's clever. So the car, the, the engineer from Porsche has just told us that we were riding at the actual Rally Dakar ride height. We I think, we, I think quite, we got told off there. We, we were quite high in the air. I think that was a telling off. Now the cool thing about this car is, it's got a um, it's got a sat nav that's like a a visual of the circuit looking down on the circuit, which is amazing. I've never seen one that good before. I think I'm limited to about 80, 90 miles an hour okay. with this tent. So that's my racing driver excuse. Gotcha. So Dan's coming out with the racing excuses now. Um, he looks it's like he's sat a bit higher in the seat because he's got the book of excuses sat underneath his ass. <laughs> so we're coming down to church. Now, if he gets this wrong, we're in the sea because the sea's directly behind the bush. I just need to it's suss out what knobbly tires feel okay. like. They're all right. Yeah, all right. That's, I tell you what, what a nice little car. How comfy the, is it? The balance of the car is really good considering it's uh, on rally spec. It's got a different, on the dashboard I just saw Dan change the settings and he put it in rally mode even though there is a sports mode. And it feels actually really balanced for the big knobbly tyres that are on the car, it's quite impressive. So he's gone deep there, I think he's looking to drive on the grass. So he's I really, I, do you know to, what, I've not got it in me, I wish I had the bollocks to go he, on the grass. He's been a, very, a gentleman, he's letting people pass sir, there's a lemon came and just gone past us. And you go, Dan. The car feels unbelievably nice for it, how tall it's riding. I'm really impressed with it. You can feel it pitching on the, uh, it's got knobbly tyres on it, so it's pitching a little bit. Um, but with respect to the car, the dynamics of the chassis are really, really good. It's very well bla balanced. Isn't it? It's not pitching, it's yawing into the corners. So as Dan's driving it quite hard on acceleration, we're not getting the pitch that I expected from tall tyres. The, uh, the brakes feel really good. It feels. I'm just looking over at Dan's feet and the 
the bite is excellent. His foot's not going down, it's just staying at one point, so it means he's got really good pads and discs on the car. Do you know what? It really does not feel like you're on knobbly no, tyres at I'm, all. You can I'm feel it's a bit softer. Shocked how good it is. It feels like slightly overheated tyres, yeah. you know, when they go a bit spongy. Yeah. But the grip. It's in this car's in Rothman's colours by the uh, to to um, replicate the actual Paris Dakar rally as well, which is quite cool. Oh, sat nav's going on as well. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very very nice toy. If anybody out there's won the lottery that. and they want something to go and play <laughs> with, I think Dan's going to get one of these. Come on, Dan, you get some money out. Let me have one. Get your purse out. Get the credit card out. I won't tell the missus. <laughs> I really, really like this. How good is it? How much are they? Can I have one? Uh, they're about a hundred. Well, they won't let you buy one for starters. I think list are about one hundred and sixty thousand, but they've been going for a quarter of a million pounds. These. I can believe that. I can believe that. With them being really rare numbers, I but really I, kn I know a couple of people, a couple of customers who have got these. Yeah. And they say they're the best road going 911 on British roads when it's wet. Really? Um, yeah, just because they're softer and they're a bit stupid yeah, yeah. and they're a bit more playful. But the nice thing about it is the, we're in a rally mode on a, on a race circuit and it, I, I expected a lot of pitch on the car. But it, it actually yours very well and the only thing that gives away is the knobbly tyres. Which I think is double impressive considering the ride height of the car. It. So get your nose in, then feed the power on. And away you go. Yeah, that's it. Good boy. <laughs> nice, nice. Right, we'll go it. I think knobbly yeah, tyres might melt yeah, quite cool, easily, cool so we'll call it at that. Cool the brakes down now and there. Uh, I tell you, all the little, all the kiddies are waving at this. Oh, Not the, in a. Yeah, we're just careful saying, how to say that nowadays. We're just saying the little munchkins were on the uh, barrier <laughs> at the top there, waving like mad because Dan's been doing his little exhibition thing. And uh, but what this is one of those cars that the kids will look at and they'll know they can buy a model of it in the shop. So <laughs> I can imagine those little kids will be going and buying a model of this now after Dan's shown them how what it can do. So um, we'll do we'll do a proper cool down lap. So yes. Let's do a cool Ray's down. Ray's here. Ray comes on all our track days and he's very very modest, is Ray. But um, we stole you off Ferrari, didn't we? Met you as a Ferrari driver coach, which is yeah. So hard. I met Dan. Dan uh, has got the famous. The, the famous brand Muff Wash, <laughs> and uh, he does all the valeting at uh, events for Ferrari, and uh, so we met on that. We got on very well together with pals, and uh, we also live close, not too far away from each other. Um, I've I've been a driver coach for Ferrari for 25 years now. I'm the longest serving Ferrari coach in in Britain, which is quite cool, considering I'm a northerner. I'd never thought Ferrari would take a northern on, which is Better. double cool. Um, and uh, so I've won Ferrari Instructor of the Year for two years on the run. Wow. Um, and I was the Chief Instructor in Europe for 10 years in the Ferrari Challenge cars, which is, which is really good. Because we got to go to circuits that I never dreamed I'd ever go to. Standing on the start-finish line at Monza with nobody there and the echoing off the grandstands is such an emotional event, especially considering my boss, that was my boss at the time, was called Peter Gethin. And Peter Gethin was the, the, the the man that won the Monza Grand, uh, Formula One Grand Prix, and it was the closest ever finish when four cars went over the line together. Wow. And it, uh, six hundredths of a second split them. And coming out of Parabolica, he was in fourth coming out of Parabolica, the last corner going down to the start finish, and they all pulled out of each of the slipstream, and he just popped the, the lead by six hundredths of a second. So to stand with him on the, um, the start finish line at Monza, my very first time being there, that was very, very emotional. I bet. But you've been, you've been looking after three guests here today, haven't you, doing some coaching? Oh, we've been on uh, Dan, Dan's they, uh, they track day. They all absolutely love it. Whenever you've been out with people, they say yeah. the amount that they learn, and I, I will vouch for this. Yes. All these people spending, you've seen some of the cars here, they'll spend thousands of pounds modifying the cars, yeah, yeah. lightweight wheels, and what can actually be brought from a bit of proper instruction my, my joy in my job is I'm passionate about cars and um, Dan's good enough to invite me on these events and I love teaching supercar owners which we've got here today how good their cars are and yeah. how they, they can use it to the full capabilities um, 
and it's actually by being smooth not aggressive everybody's got in the head that you have to be aggressive to be a race driver no 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 if you look at all your multiple world champions they're always the smoothest drivers in, in on the circuit your Max Verstappen's your Lewis Hamilton's Jackie Stewart's a previous Elaine Prost Ray Grimes Jensen is. Buttons Alginil Fatang Fatang Ole Biscuit Harold <laughs> <laughs> um, I believe in smoothness with a car and the guys today that I've been coaching are absolutely lovely. I've been out in a Lotus Imara. How quiet is the track? Uh, I mean, we've just done beautiful. a full cool down lap there. I've not been over 50 no. miles an hour then, and not a single car has come past. There's the maybe. Sun, the sun shines on, on the righteous. We've got a lovely sunny day at. Uh, we had rain this morning, um, but at Angles is such a beautiful circuit. When it's clear, you can see Snowdonia on the far side of the circuit as you come over a brow, which is beautiful. Uh, we've got some great eating places, the Oyster Catcher in Rosnag around the corner. We'll be going for a beer there in a minute. It's a, such a cool place, isn't it? It's mega. Yeah, so... That, yeah. That, that is the official post-track uh, day. I love Oyster Catcher. It's owned by the Timpson family, the shoe family. Is it? Yeah, yeah, so the Timpson shoe family, um, actually, uh, they, they call them the philanthropists or something. You know, when, when they give a lot of money to charity. Oh, uh, I've heard this. Yeah, so yeah, Timpson yeah. Shoes own this, this uh, restaurant called the Oyster Catcher in the Sand Dunes at Ross Niger. And the people, the people that work there are people that have not done very well at school and they've been given up on. But they give them the faith and the confidence that they are actually really good at what they do. And I've never had such good food and better service in a restaurant other than that Oyster Catcher. The kids are amazing. And I always make sure I give them a good tip. Well, we, we did a track day here, if it was last year yeah. or the year before in September, and we'd gone there after, mm. and it was the season closing party mm. i've never seen anywhere so busy oh, so um, it's always ended busy. up staying the night on that one oh, and the people are lovely there they they serve you the double fast at serving you the food is fantastic the eating mess gotta have the eating mess <laughs> the eating mess is special um so if you ever come to anglesey go to the oyster catcher best place around here how much fun was that you know what? This has shocked me because I thought it was going to be a load of body roll and pitch and no, uh, and and the car just yawed in and and Daniel was driving it really well on the yaw and the, on the throttle. I paid him to say uh, that. No, he, he really was. He was he was getting his nose in, then he was getting on the power and it, the back was sliding, but again it wasn't chunking and, and hopping. It was just a lovely uh, yeah, power slide. I don't know if that's that rally mode though. That might have been uh, that might have been the car, not me. No, because I think if you'd have put in sports mode, it might have been even better. But for rally mode, if you think that's rally mode's made to go off road, yeah, that yeah. was that was bloody good. And the as I say, the sat nav on here, this car is beautiful. Isn't it nice to get in a Porsche that doesn't take itself very seriously? Oh, seriously, I like it. Um, you'd have to see. I'll get the boys to set put a camera up to show you how the uh, the roof works. So it's got like. Sorry, a I've just got the guys tent. from Porsche checking the tires here, yeah. and he's he's giving, yeah, me, a, he's giving me a slightly he, worried yeah, nod. If the, he's, get, he's getting warm. an invoice pad out for some reason. <laughs> I don't know what that's all about. Right, thank you very much. Thanks, mate. Well done, pal. Good drive.